I met him in 1979, and he was actually in a play. Uh, he was in the royal family playing, I think, Tony. And I was in something like uh, Anything Goes or something like that. And then he was starting a theater company in Charlotte about that same time called Actors Contemporary Ensemble. And uh, I wound up doing some things with him. And since then we've done, I don't know how many plays together, but uh, enough so that there's a, you know, sort of a shortcut uh, vocabulary that we have and understand with each other. The dynamic of somebody, an, a director and an actor in rehearsal is so interesting. When you're learning who each other is, you're very careful with what the language is and how, what you say to each other because it's so easy to send somebody down the wrong path. And so a lot of times the exercise is learning in what needs to be said so that the actor can make an adjustment sort of from within and not just from without. So knowing how an, an, an actor works is a good thing for a director to do, to, to know, because he can go and just sort of press the spot. How in the world did I have the hubris enough to think that I could do this? Is that your question? Maybe not. As an actor, I'm trying to put myself in a position where I'm not seeing Lear very well, and because Lear isn't seeing himself very well. So how do I see Lear? I see him as somebody who doesn't see very much about what's going on. I mean, Lear is a man who has been a king and had absolute authority for a long time, and uh, suddenly wants to transition out of that and just be a father and a sort of a regular guy, and yet uh, is completely ill-equipped to do any of those things because he has always defined himself as the absolute figure, an absolute uh, autocrat that he is. And he thought that was, he thinks that's one and the same. I and, and my position are one and the same, and they're not. In Lear's mind, I think his loss is as great as Haiti. And, and that's how, that's his view of the world. He is the world. He can't see anything outside of that. He gets brief glimpses later in the storm where he is kind of for a second. And it's never more than 10 lines that Shakespeare says, OK, Lear is able to see, empath empathize, to go outside of himself for a minute. And he moves around from, how dare you do that to me, to look what you did to me, things like that. But there are glimpses where he looks at somebody else and sees them. And it'll last about 10 lines, and then it's gone.